Hi, so I've been busy making freezer meals, making cookies this morning, and I have um, kids that are ready to eat breakfast. So I wanted to show you how I freeze my English muffins and tortillas and how I um, thaw them so that I can have a really tasty breakfast, but I didn't have to, um, I, I've been able to save it for months in my freezer. So first of all, I'll just real quick show you what I do. I get a large, for the English muffins, I get like this one, it has 12 in a big pack, it's like this long. And I press out the air, twist it well, and then I put it in here. And then, so it's sort of double bagged, right? And then when I need um, English muffins, I take out what I need, put those back in the freezer, and then I let them sit out like for an hour or so on the counter on a paper towel in the water from them gets absorbed into the paper towel. Um, another thing I've also done is at the night before, I'll put a piece of paper towel over them and stick them in a baggie the night before on my inside and seal the baggie and then this will absorb all the water if there's any little bit of water. Okay, so now they're kind of dry out. They're nice and thawed and easy to take apart. You can use a knife if you need to. And so I'm gonna show you real quick how I make breakfast sandwiches for my family that taste like I had these sitting fresh, just fresh out of, um, off the store shelf. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I toast these. And while I'm toasting them, I've melted some butter over here on my frying pan, and I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. And I kind of leave them in pieces that are about the size of this so that we can have a little layer of sausage and a little layer of scrambled egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, usually I um, crack a bunch of eggs and whisk them, but I have some egg, frozen egg that I thawed and I need to use. So basically, these are nice and soft. See, they're fresh. And I probably got those about two, three weeks ago, and they've just been used whenever I feel like making these breakfast sandwiches. Okay, so while I'm toasting those and scrambling my eggs, I want to show you how I freeze tortillas and cheese. My kids want uh, quesadillas for lunch. And we were talking about, we haven't had quesadillas in a long time. So I go to my freezer and I pull out my frozen tortillas. And how I do those is I usually buy these giant, I think they come in two, two separate packs like this. Okay, this was bought in March. So I take these and maybe I'll use one of the packs, keep it in the fridge and use it for the week or so. But then I'll leave the other one and I'll wrap it, double wrap it like that and just stick it in my freezer. So these are hard as a rock. But what I do is I leave them out on the counter. A couple hours, they'll be totally soft and ready for quesadillas. And how I do my cheese, okay, I'm multitasking. I'm modeling multitasking for you guys. I'm toasting and doing the video. My kids are gonna be wanting food soon. How I do cheese is I buy a large bag of pre-shredded cheese, or you can shred your own. Um, just do a bunch at one time. And then I portion them into like, two to three cups in a little quart bag and I label it. This was May 28th. So then I can pull it out for tacos, I can pull it out for uh, sandwiches, quesadillas. So I'm gonna let this sit on the counter while I'm here. I'm not leaving it for hours, but you can kind of break it up by pounding it on your counter and let it thaw. You can even let it thaw in the fridge overnight. Um, but I didn't do that, so I'm just gonna let it sit here because I'm home today, and as soon as I notice that it's thawed, I'll put it in the fridge. These can sit out on the counter overnight as well. That's just a couple little tips. What I'll be doing after these eggs are done is I'll be cooking up some sausage, and the sausage will go on a layer of egg and a layer of sausage on each of the little English muffins. So we've got one, two, we have two more to go. So I'll go get my sausage real quick. I 
like to buy the raw sausage patties so that I can just cook them and then drain them and then they're ready to go. It's really tasty if you put a smidge of butter on each half. And I have this little butter crock I love because it keeps my butter fresh and at room temperature. And you just have a little bit of water and a pinch of salt in there. And this keeps it fresh for weeks in here. We don't last weeks with that, but um, it's a very cool little butter crock that keeps everything really soft and room temperature. So I'm gonna just slather on a little butter. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on each toasted one. My eggs sound done. Turn those off. The sausage won't be ready before the video and before you fall asleep, but you get the idea. So you can have, you can freeze lots of different breads this way and it comes out tasting fresh, delicious, and there's not an issue with it being freezer burned or anything like that. Um, if you feel nervous about freezer burn, you can always double bag it inside of a zip bag. That's another way to do that and get out all the air. Just when you thaw it, you want to make sure you have a paper towel because there are a few ice crystals in there. Okay, so I'll just put a layer of egg on here and one of the sausages that's been drained and then I'll put another lid on and we'll have a delicious breakfast sandwich with fresh tasting um, English muffins that have actually were purchased probably in April and it's what June have a good day